An electrical fire may happen near you. Hi, I'm Sei Shiraishi. Electrical appliances, we use them every day. Actually, for the last few years, we've been seeing more electrical fires. How do electrical fires happen? First of all, let's see what they are like. They are caused by electrical appliances. This tiny scorch could have caused a serious fire. That would be very dangerous. The TFD also sees small scorches as the causes of fires and makes investigations for future fire prevention. If you spot a small scorch, flame, heat, smoke, smell, the fire is out. In the case of any of these, call us at 119. Do you need help? Call the fire station in your area. Now, let's see the main types of electrical appliances that can cause fires. We are going to meet a firefighter now. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, let's look at power plugs. Plugs sitting in outlets for many years can be dangerous. Let's look at the causes of fire one by one. Arc tracking. It happens on the humid dust and dirt piled up between the outlet and the plug. Especially, dust collects quickly on plugs behind refrigerators or televisions, around sinks or tanks, or at other humid spots. Be sure to dust plugs frequently with a dry cloth, a duster, etc. Don't leave unnecessary plugs inserted in outlets. Second, fires could happen from power plugs that are not inserted properly. Yes, have a look at this. If the part of the power plug in contact with the socket is loose, the temperature rises, causing a fire. Make sure power plugs are pushed in firmly. Do not use deformed or discolored power plugs. The prongs are also important, not just the cord. Yes, this image shows a fire from a short circuit. This happens when you put something like a paperclip between the power plug and the outlet, something that generates electric current. It is extremely dangerous because it can cause not just a fire, but electric shocks too. The next electrical product that can cause a fire is power cords. Power cords come with many electrical appliances. Using them incorrectly is dangerous. I'll show you an example. This dryer. Someone used this dryer with a twisted and bent cord, resulting in the cord snapping, causing a fire. You need to be careful, as a cord could snap due to a cord being under a chair or a piece of furniture. Replace old and damaged cords with new ones.
By the way, overloading the outlet is said to be a no-no. Specifically, what makes it dangerous? Yes, outlets and power strips have an electric current limit. If you keep overloading them, the cord will heat up, raising the danger of fire. This is called overcurrent. Knowing allows prevention. Please check whether you are overloading your outlets at home, causing overcurrent. Finally, these are electrical products that can cause fires. Electrical products running on batteries. With the spread of smartphones, fires from lithium-ion batteries, including mobile device batteries, are on the increase every year. They are characterized by their small size with a large capacity. However, incorrect use can turn this large amount of energy into a danger. It's very scary to think a fire could suddenly happen when you are out, or asleep, or when your child is touching it. The key to using them safely is to take measures like using only batteries guaranteed by the maker, avoiding strong shocks like falls, not letting heat build up, charging only with the specified current or voltage, and not breaking them apart or modifying them. We need to be careful, don't we? By the way, what's this mark? This is the PSE. Products that satisfy the Electrical Appliances and Materials Safety Act get this mark. Check whether your mobile battery is missing the PSE or is being recalled. However, PSE batteries are not always safe. You need to use them properly. I see. Everyone, please check. So what do you think now? Don't miss even small scorches. It is very important to know what may cause electrical fires and know they can develop. For the safety of your electrical products, check them regularly. For your safety, take action now. Should you call 119 or not, the TFD Guide for Electrical Appliance Fires can help you. Thank you very much for your time with us. Scorches, call us at 119.